hi everyone let's continue jamovi one more session that is logistic regression so let me tell you how we have to conduct logistic regression but before that i would like to share with you what is logistic regression and where we are going to apply logistic regression so basically logistic regression is used to distinguish between two or more groups let's say we want to check the behavior uh, gender wise behavior we want to check so let's say there is male and female or those are the people employed and or unemployed right married people or unmarried so let's say we want to check there are only two categories so this one is the dichotomous data only two categories and this is the categorical data we want to check so when our dependent variable would be categorical so we that, then we are going to apply logistic regression logistic regression is generally preferred when there are only two categories of the dependent variable if you have more than two categories of dependent variable then we will use discriminant analysis we will discuss later on logistic regression uses and already i had uh, made this discriminant analysis video with the help of spss i will share this link in my description box so just go through this discriminant analysis so logistic regression uses at maximum likelihood estimation logistic regression computes the log odds for a particular outcome means the odds of an outcome are given by the ratio of the probability of its happening and not happening right odds p divided by 1 minus p where the p is the probability of an event and odds p by q so uh, we have to check this in simple regression involving 1 dv and 1 iv right a regression coefficient of 2 for a iv indicates that for a unit change in the value of iv the dv will change by 2 units right so means because of that independent variable iv stands for independent variable dv stands for dependent variable so here it is means suppose regression coefficient of 2 for the independent variable that indicates for a unit change in the value of independent variable the dependent variable will change by 2 units but no such direct correspondence in logistic regression here we can have the concept of odds to interpret the results and here is a change in one unit of independent variable will multiply the odds by 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 exponential b where b is the logistic regression coefficient for the independent variable under consideration we will discuss and there is the case right this case i am not taking into consideration i have another file that i am going to discuss in jamo right and uh, let me start this and we are going to open that is one of the file right this is the file where is dividend means this is the share market data we have downloaded from nsc national stock exchange and dividend means whether this share is giving you dividend or it's not giving you dividend right this data is divided into two categories and these are some variables on the basis of which we are going to apply this logistic regression now let me this is one of this data is from one of my published uh, article right and this article already published and here is the same data i have used i had applied artificial neural network so but what is the meaning of these terms right earning growth earning growth is the annual compound growth rate cagr of earnings from investment right debt of equity ratio market capitalization current ratio these are my variables those i have taken in my study so what we have to do first of all we have to go for descriptives oh. let me dividend variable this is my dividend variable right and we will statistics right and frequency tables we have to check on this frequency table now you can see frequency is divided 98 counts right this one is right dividend those are giving dividend 0 and 1 1 0 cases that is categorized under the category of 1 those are not giving 
dividends so let me go there i just want to with the help of plots bar plots right we can see bar plot so almost these these this data is nearby right 98 102 only four entries are different more or less this data is same those are some shares means 50% share are giving dividends and uh, little bit different some uh, shares are not giving dividends so let's go we will go to regression and further this one is the logistic regression i have already covered correlation matrix partial correlation linear regression just go through my previous videos and today we will discuss logistic regression under this logistic regression two outcomes binomial because binomial means we have only two categories two categories means those shares are giving dividends and those uh, shares are not giving dividends so there are only two categories categorical data so let me click here and now what we have to do dividend is our dependent variable and let's say i am just transferring earnings growth and now we can see this is the analysis right r square mcf it is 0.105 right and this one is the we can say earnings and growth that is p value is less than 0.05 that means it is significant a moment we will transfer now you can see the improvement in the model m cap d right we have to shift towards this side now r square mcf now you can see 0.246 and when we will transfer m cap or fcp this right now we can see this model is improved 0.466 means when it is going towards the that is very in between 0 to 1 Zero means it's a poor model, and one means it's a very good model. Right? Means all the dependent variable, all the independent variables are explaining your variation in the depend. So now, moment I have transferred this M cap also to zero point seven three two, and I will transfer current ratio also. Now you can see my model is eighty five percent. Right? At model, ah, uh, that is explaining. Uh, variation in the dependent variable right so here is comparison you can see all are significant my intercept is also significant earnings growth in significant and this one is also significant fcps significant all are significant right none of the variable is insignificant now let's go to uh, we will go to assumptions check collinearity statistics i am going to check collinearity statistics and i had already explained you in my previous video vif should not be should not be uh, we can say that should be within the 5 right it should not be greater than 5 or some statistician are saying it should not be less than 10 so all vif values are under control and tolerance tolerance it should not be less than 0.2 and in all the cases my tolerance this one is the less no, uh, greater than 0.2 so we can say there is no multicularity issue then model fit model fit rest macfadden's r square we can see we will go back this one is the table yes macfadden's m r square mcf stands for macfadden this is by default is check box and uh, i want to see cox and snell's r square that is 0.694 and moment this one is negligible this one is the 0.926 right negligible ke this one is r square 0.926 now you can see and after that uh, you can check model coefficients uh, this one is the estimated marginal uh, marginal means also you can just shift towards that side right you can and uh, now we can see this the marginal means also this is the marginal means now you can see add new terms let's say we want to see this one is also right now we can see uh, Uh, that is negatively sloped and that is positively sloped and we want to see fc at new term and uh, we want to see fc right so that is also positively is going on and similar manner you can check and prediction ha uh -huh, yes prediction is uh, let's say i want to check classification table and classification table let me show you classification table classification table it is reflecting observed value when zero right 
and predicted predicted those are the having a dividend 93 93 cases right only five were not 93 no, no, not uh, uh, observed in my actual data so my data this one is the model is 94.9% correct and in the case of when we are talking about those are not giving right those are marked as one only the six cases 96 so this one is the 94.1% my model is correct so uh, let me give you and this is the at the cut off cut off plot right at the 50% right what we have to do let me check uh, their um, roc curve roc curve and uh, this one is the accuracy specific specificity right and uh, then sensitivity right let me show you your cut off plots cut off plots also we we can see here cut off plots right this is the cut off plot sensitivity and specificity i will explain you only these two terms sensitivity and specificity what they what these two terms are explaining and how we can calculate sensitivity and specificity i will discuss in the next video but before this let me finish logistic regression explanation interpretation so what is this this one is the model right uh this these are the spss results right but this these results uh, i had applied on some other data data set but these terms are common cox and snells are right log likelihood now we can see this one is the r square r square values gives an approximation about how much variance in the dv can be explained with the hypothesized model in this example i have taken in this example age and size can explain 6.04% these are the cox and snells r square and this one is the negligible uh, r square this is 8.05 let's come to these points it is equivalent to r square values in multiple regression inclusion of additional terms in model significant improves model fit or not that's reflects and it is used to compare models and assess if the inclusion of the additional terms in the model significantly improve model fit or not and in our case we have already seen this model is improved classification table i had already shown you and same classification table what we have to do we will copy from here and we will paste it there classification here this is my classification table so now you can compare this classification table uh right and this is this classification table in jamovi and what we have to do this classification table it's the output of your uh spss but this the data set is different so please do not compare values of these but only we would understand what is the uh how much is correct uh, model is right here is model can correctly predict here is 83.3% of the loss making firms and 84.6% of the profit making firms overall our model predict 84% of the firms correctly and in our case what is happening 94.9% those are giving dividends and 94.1% those are not giving uh, dividend so this one is the very accurate model and accuracy we can check here on the top end this one is let me show you right 92% 92% a model is correct accurate model so i hope Uh, with the help of logistic regression you can check the accuracy of the model and you can predict the predict the uh, for the future prediction you can do that with the help of logistic regression so stay tuned and keep watching thank you so much thank you for watching this video thank you